dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye his name is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they said, Is Saul also a prophet? This ordinary man we know called the son of Kish. What suddenly happened to him that he began to prophesy from morning till night? Is Saul also a prophet? He said, I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil I have anointed him. Hallelujah. He told Jeremiah, from when you were in your mother's womb, I called you, I ordained you to be a prophet. He said, Jeremiah, don't say I am small. I have put my word in your mouth. And he will subdue kingdoms. He will tear down. The Bible says these people will be called the repairers of the breach. They will fix the broken walls and the desolations of many generations. This is what God is doing. There is a revolution. He says, I will build my church. Not a church. Not their church. Many people can build their church, but I will build my church according to a heavenly pattern. And he told Moses, he said, ensure that you build according to pattern. Bible says, every house is built by some man, but God is the builder of all things. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy the Lamb, holy, holy is the Lamb, holy, holy is the Lamb, faithful, faithful. Mighty, mighty, mighty is the Lamb, mighty, mighty is the Lamb. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. My spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. It's a powerful song. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Yeah. 
breathe on me breathe on me it is the breath of the almighty that make men of understanding breathe on me breathe on me from your heart Lord I thank my breathe on me Lord I look to you for life I thank my life breathe on me one more time I thank my breathe on me I look to you for life of desperation
taking place in the spirit I sense a very strong healing anointing in this place I am the Lord your healer I sense my word 
and it healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord. The Lord is healing sick bodies right now. That he led thee. I am the Lord. I'm your healer. I, I sent, sent my, my word, word. And, he and he healed your disease. But welcome me. I tell you, the Holy Spirit is resting, is finding habitation. Father, have mercy and grace. Spirit takes over your soul. When the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul for he's the Holy Ghost Spirit of the living God he's the Holy Ghost scepter of the King of Kings you're the Holy Seal of the age to come. You're changing everything. And I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy I will see of the wonders of your work and I will forever see your praise I will forever I will see out for joy. I will see of the wonders of your work, and I will forever see your grace. God has been interrupting our services through the week. We are in strange seasons of the glory because God is opening portals 
God is opening scrolls showing us the mysteries of the kingdom Hallelujah Hallelujah I'm not just singing this is a sound from heaven Hallelujah Hallelujah May you hear this sound in your spirit Ale Ale Prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Please follow me instrumentally. I'm not singing. It's a chant in the spirit. Hallelujah. Ride upon the wings of this sound, oh great one. See now, I shake na 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 na. See ne de de go so na 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 na. Ride upon the wings of this sound. Echo in your spirit, man. For when the shofar blows, it's a sign that the season has A dimension of God that the church has lost the meeting point between men and the presence of God Emmanuel, and the church will see your only face Emmanuel, when you come Hallelujah You have won the victory Sikata baba kala bada da da Hallelujah You have won it all for me just that part, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory.
His kingdom reigns. Yes, it reigns. Above all. Above all. Your kingdom reigns. sure you participate in the worship it's part of the teaching the presence of God is happy and mighty in this place Is a part of the song that I like. of your presence oh God there is a strange wind physical wind physical wind that I see in the spirit and it's going to blow inside this place a real physical wind you will feel it start happening right now a real wind is the wind of the spirit a real physical wind physical wind blow oh great wind even as I've seen in the spirit a real physical wind. Changing. Transforming. I don't mind waiting. We're not in a hurry. I don't mind waiting. On my way on you, Lord. 
don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. For who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth. Look, the Lord is doing something tonight. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth. I lead the earth to Jesus, this is what this is all about, and we give you the glory. We thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you for the miracles, for the healing. Thank you because you're already changing the mindsets of people. Doing what mortal words cannot articulate. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About the name. Something happens when we call his name. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit to what you are doing. I will praise the Lamb. Of God who sits upon the throne. Sam, help me. I, I will, will worship him and give, and give a praise to, to him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever. And they bow down and they sing holy. Yes, we sing holy. And we, your sons and daughters, we praise you now and we cry holy. Yes, we cry. Holy. I will praise the Lamb. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him alone. He who was in Hallelujah. Holy, 
No one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. No one can compare to you. Separate and sanctify. What are your for the praise? And what are your glory, God? We will bow before you. Lord, if this is all you do with us tonight, we are grateful. There is only so much we know about the presence of God and its power to change. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Bless us, oh God, tonight. We're not ashamed to bask in your presence. This is the place of true power. This is the place where burdens are lifted. This is where you are separating men. worship him your flesh may be weak but there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit sing hallelujah hallelujah to the Lord and say I'm available Lord I'm available pray it turn it to, into a, a solemn prayer you're with him alone tonight I know we are here corporately I'm truly available even if this is your first time tonight This is how to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what happens to you when you are exposed to God's presence. Your flesh will start fighting you. 
your mortal physical body will start finding excuses as to why you are tired is because something is happening many of us have not mastered the art of taming the flesh to stay in the presence of god once you raise a worship song you suddenly begin to feel i'm tired i need to I, i'm looking for something it's not like you're really tired brothers and sisters no flesh can stand in his presence when your flesh is compelled to submit to the influence of his presence you will become a wonder his power can flow through you the energy the ability of the spirit you don't just need a transformation of the mind you need a total alignment an alignment where something happens to you not just in your spirit not just in your soul but your physical body your physical body when you bask in the glory of God I'm telling you it affects your physical body your mortal body every fiber of your cell every fiber of your blood your body comes under the influence of that cardboard that weight of his glory that's what will melt every sickness that's what will set people free hallelujah please be seated good evening and god bless you if you can sit down if you cannot the meeting is already on I love to worship and I love to praise I bow before you lifting you I I worship your holy name I love to worship I love to praise I bow before you, lifting you high. You are being renewed. Listen to me, please. You are being changed. These seats are vacant. Can we have one or two people occupy these seats, please? Hallelujah. Please fill up every vacant seat. Just come quietly, find a place and sit down. God bless all of you standing. You may be standing now, but I assure you, a day will come you will sit. Yeah, the Bible says the word is able to give you an inheritance. Lord, if you're healing people in this season don't do it without me mali paradashia don't do it without me oh lord if you're changing cities in this season please don't do it without me that's always my prayer don't, don't do, do it without me oh lord as you're leading people into your glory don't do it without me don't do it without me hallelujah see listen if you take seriously the things i'm teaching you it will shock you what you will become it's a programming listen to me what you are receiving is a programming it's making you become something it's aligning you spiritually so that the reality of the kingdom can find expression through you this is what God desires 
Not just when you are standing on stage. Hallelujah. There is an alignment through the songs. Even if you don't hear anything, the atmosphere does something to you. There is a change. The presence of God. This is the factor that you need in your life, brothers and sisters. Power is not enough to change people. There is, there is a way you can align to the Holy Ghost. That you become a living wonder. Your physical, mortal body carries heaven. Hallelujah. And that everywhere you go, you become an envoy. I did a teaching, envoys of his presence. You don't have all the time to start teaching people sermons, brothers and sisters. There are times you will need to let the presence alone speak. Oh, 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 oh. He has become our passion in this place. It pays to walk with God. It pays. God is speaking to someone here. Tonight, you need to win the war in your heart and give up the flesh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Hallelujah. There are people who have been fighting to submit totally to the Spirit. And he's giving the devil access to destroy your life. You know what I'm talking about. There are so many of you outside. There are many of us inside. Hallelujah. This is what is keeping many of us in bondages. This is what gives the devil legal access. Tonight. Tonight. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Even before I continue. Don't mind what I'm doing. Let me just do my stupid thing on the stage. This is the Holy Ghost doing what he's doing. This is koinonia. Hallelujah. There are people who need to win this war tonight. The struggle is over. You, you can't keep fighting with destiny forever. You may be sitting and people may be looking at you, but we are struggling. There is this war between Cain and Abel. The spirit and the flesh. Hallelujah. As I count three, I want those people to get up, jump up on your feet and come out here right now. One. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Please, if you are not sure of why you are here, go back to your seat and think again. Please, we are not, we are not playing games. We are really, look at me, hold on. Praise God. I, I appreciate your sincerity, but we are not playing games. If you are coming out here, you are really telling the Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Win this war tonight. I make up my mind for real. Hallelujah. Just come, there's still some space. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. Lord, I will bow to you. Listen, Jesus said something. He said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything. Satan cometh to me. Many of us, it's not that we don't love God. This has been my message. He is not a priority. There 
there are so many things we believe that deserve our time and our attention because we live in a society that convinces us that spirituality makes us failure who can compare to you great is the measure of your royalty oh morning star you truly are everything listen look at me those of you coming out you can win this war tonight and say lord take over my life take over i don't care who is watching me i'm i'm sick and tired of this fake life there are many of you who are supposed to join them you are sitting smiling and the holy ghost is talking to you and saying this is serious business join them quickly there are many of you outside lord you are everything to me is my treasure my priority who can compare to him nobody great is the measure of his royalty oh morning star you true Listen, if that Isaac in your life that makes God of less value does not leave you, you will never experience the power of God. Take it from me. Don't let anybody fool you. I've told you there are some things in the kingdom that are not gifts. They are rewards for serious people. It's part of the justice system of heaven. For many of us, it's boyfriend and girlfriend that won't let us get serious with God. For many of us, it's money. Ah, you want money. For many of us, we are just careless and vulnerable. And it may not be your fault. We came from backgrounds where priority to the things of God is seen as being strange. But let me tell you something. When you come for koinonia, what you see is a new culture. You don't see Yoruba culture here, or Hausa culture, or Igbo culture, or, or another culture, South-South culture. We divorce those things to pick the excellency of the culture of the kingdom. And in a kingdom, there is no democracy. The entire citizens look up to the king and his agenda many of you believe in god tonight will you submit to his government this is the true place of power take me to the place the place you are it's the secret place that's where i want to be i tell you you will command power and authority when you stand in that realm the place you are the secret place those of you standing can you sing it with me take me to the place come on take me to the place the place you are the secret place that's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. There are many of you that need to take your phone, look at me, and send polite but serious text messages to certain people and say, I've been playing with the issue of God being my priority. But right now, Mr. Man, I mean business. See, let me tell you, if you are ashamed of this, I can guarantee you, brothers and many of our parents were ashamed of this decision and they are paying for it bitterly. 
They went to school, but they are still paying. The remedy from the tragedy that comes with this system, this fallen system, is to walk in the spirit. Lift your hands, those of you in front, and cry your heart to God. Those of us seated, join them. In one minute, say, Lord, I take you seriously from today. Pray. Take away every Isaac, oh God, that will not stop me from being serious. Some of you are ashamed of the mockery that comes with carrying the cross. Man, tata, kapa, ladabagai. Pray. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Those of you standing cry. Come on. This is between you and God. This is your koinonia tonight. Lord I know you desire to use me. But what is this weight? It says seeing then. That we are surrounded. By so great. A cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight, every weight, every weight, every weight. Take it, oh God. Take it, whatever it is, and mean it from your heart. Let us pray. Lord, take it away. So that I can rise to a realm higher than what I have seen. So that I will command the authority of the kingdom. So that I will be trusted with the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are not with them that are born again. With them that fear him. Them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. Let your Christianity last. Let your Christianity last. No mood swings with God. Kill it tonight. No mood swings with God. I love you whether there's money or not. I love you whether there's job or not. Come on, pray. I love you whether there's marriage or not. Children or not. Academics or not. Carryover or not. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Sing it with me. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamond. There is nothing. hallelujah our time is fast spent if this is all we do tonight no problem i wanted to teach something about the mysteries of the kingdom one of the mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of having more in the kingdom you have more by losing what you have are you hearing what i'm saying it's a strange mystery it says whosoever loves his life will lose it but whosoever loses it you want power, lose the strength you have in yourself and you will get a higher one. You want wisdom, lose the one you have. Break it like an alabaster box and pour it on his feet and say, Lord, take the intellect. I know I went to school, but I can roll on the floor for the excellency of another. You must lose what you currently have. Otherwise, you will never get it. A higher dimension I pray for you say after me those of you standing Lord Jesus I mean business with you many of you as you are praying the power of the Holy Ghost will come strong upon you because this is what the Holy Ghost has been waiting for he's been seeking you for a long time hallelujah I mean business with you I make up my mind tonight that you are my priority. I not only believe in Jesus, I submit to the government of heaven. 
every Isaac in my life that stops me from rising higher I give it tonight in the name of Jesus father I pray for these ones in the name of Jesus they have come because they mean business with you transform them some of them are men of God some of them are women of God some of them are great leaders some of them have seen your hand in a measure I pray in the name that is above all names help them in the name of Jesus may grace to lose what you have be given to you that you will get something higher that nothing in this earth can compare with it I break every ungodly association look at me and I announce this to everybody hear me inside and outside you are not truly born again if your association does not change I'm going to repeat it you are not truly born again if your association especially the association that kept you in sin there's no such thing that I'm born again and my best friend is still that person I will change him uh -uh. when it was time for Moses to be changed he left Egypt and went and stayed with God was trained when he had that stature God sent him back to Egypt as a deliverer you don't stay in Egypt and get transformed hallelujah there are many of us you have three or four people your friends they drag a lady and they are coming to sleep with her and you are there you are a Christian but you don't you don't like it but there's nothing that can be done about it and then you are in the room there you are watching you didn't sleep with the lady but a seed has been sown in your life you are going to go and pray and you are thinking of all kinds of things your spiritual stability has been distorted and it will take a long time for you to get back your footing but I pray for you tonight the hand of the almighty is upon you you will leave this place transformed please go back to your seat give me 15 minutes or so and we'll be and then two meetings now God has been interrupting what we are doing in this place the message I preached last week was not even the message that I plan to preach this week again and every time you see God stepping in like that is because we are entering seasons I told us about the seasons of greatness like Noah I will keep announcing it until we step into the reality of it Noah kept saying something kept saying something and this is not just empty confession hallelujah grant us grace oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ can we just look at something small We're talking about the mysteries of the kingdom. Um, for time's sake, our time is already gone. I will just pick something really, just an aspect of what I want to share. Um, and then we'll just pray. I want to teach us tonight how to enforce the kingdom in our lives. How to enforce the kingdom. Matthew 6. Ah, Jesus inspires me. Goodness. I began to read this, the parables of Jesus. And I mean, those parables were just hitting me like arrows with mysteries. Hallelujah. 
if you're ever caught up to heaven or the realm of the spirit and you ever see God or angels the proof that you truly saw God or anything divine is that you will return with more questions than the answers you got you will come back with a lot of information but you will come back so confused your dependence in the Holy Spirit will increase as a matter of life and death because of the mysteries brothers and sisters this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries i shared with us already that a mystery is a secret truth a mystery is a hidden truth hidden truth hidden truth there are some mysteries that we have to really look at we may not we can't touch all of them that's to say we are reading, we are exploring the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But there are a few mysteries we have to touch. One of it is enforcing the kingdom. Maybe next week we'll discuss the mystery of marriage. Not relationship and family talk at all. The mystery of marriage. The Bible calls it a great mystery. Ephesians. That means no unbeliever can truly understand marriage. It's not about age anything that is a mystery is only given to the sons of the kingdom to understand hmm. he said it is given unto you to know the mysteries so men can see the bible says so that they seeing they may not see they can't understand hearing but they will not get it but there is a mystery when you understand this you must be a good husband the mystery of marriage when you understand it, you must be a good wife. Whether you pick a wife from Borno and a husband from Niger Delta, no problem. A great mystery. Paul, there were few things in the Bible that Paul called a great mystery. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. And I told us last week that there are certain people by the election of grace, they are called stewards of the mysteries of God stewards stewards custodians caretakers of the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah enforcing the kingdom what is the kingdom the influence of the king what is the kingdom the summation of the value system the ideologies of the king hallelujah sorry i may have to rush i'm, I'm really really sorry enforcing the kingdom talks about reproducing the reality of the king's culture the king's culture that's the best way to put it a culture is the way of life of a people their way of operation reproducing the king's atmosphere reproducing the king's result forcing his decrees to work here and now in your life there are principles is a mystery jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray and he said something verse 6 or let's start from verse um chapter 6 verse 9 after this manner therefore pray ye our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name verse 10 says what okay it says thy kingdom come thy kingdom come three powerful words that sum up the desires of God for men in this system. Your kingdom. Replace that word kingdom with three words, please. You may not, if you can do it, wonderful. Number one, your culture. Number two, your principles. Number three, your influence. Culture, principle, influence. Please, all of us, listen. These teachings will make us kingdom people. This is Jesus telling the people that this is the Father's desire. Because he said, that I do nothing of my own as I see my Father. Your, what's the first word now? So, let's read it. Just in your mind, just put culture there. Are you ready? One, to read. Your culture. 
Lord, let your culture, that way of life that makes heaven heaven, I want it to come. That way of life, the culture of heaven, let it come. Number two, the principles of heaven. That means the formula by which heaven runs its activities. Let it be transported to this realm here and now. Please follow me. Number three, your influence. What is your influence? The jurisdiction of your control. The jurisdiction of your control. Let it find expression. This is Jesus praying. This prayer was not just something that they are supposed to be praying and reciting every day. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This and that and that. And that. All those things are just games. Jesus was saying something very serious. The Bible says the spirit searches the mind of God. And in searching the mind of God, he said your culture, your principles, your influence, let it come. You see why we sing songs like your kingdom reign? Are you following me now? Enforcing the kingdom. What does it mean to enforce the kingdom? It means to align yourself so that this prayer becomes answered in your life and across your territory. Enforcing the culture. Enforcing the kingdom. Hallelujah. Now this is very, very important. Let me have somebody, one lady... Benga, come. One lady can come. Anybody? Where are you from, sir? You are from Kogi State. Stand here. Where are you from? Enugu, thank you. One Yoruba person. Yoruba, oh yeah. One Hausa person. Real Hausa or not? Katsina and or any of these people. Oh yeah, now. People want to embarrass your people now. Now, watch this. You are from where, Oga? Katsina. Real Katina, you are from Ondo, Kogi State. Watch this. These people represent different territories. Everybody say territory. You must understand this. I want to be very simple. I'm out of time. I know you, you may not remember what I'm saying, but you remember what I'm acting here. Are you getting my point? This lady is from the East, accustomed to the life and the culture of the East. Where the culture came from is not the issue. Is that is there now? Is that true? Are you following what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. This guy, listen, is from Kogi State, and there is a way, there is a culture, there is a life. Is that true? This lady is a Yoruba lady. Are you following me now? There is a culture. For instance, if her mother were to come here, you know how she's going to greet her, right? Is that true? This gentleman is from the north. He and his father can go, if assuming he were not a believer, for instance, he and his father can go to the same mat and pray. And that's not disrespect. In fact, it's a sign of loyalty and commitment. Whereas in other cultures, when men are sitting down, women don't even come there. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, Jesus looks at these people with their different cultures and he says, when you pray, if you must become true citizens of the kingdom, Pray that your kingdom overshadow what has been existing. That has tilted the minds of the people to behave in a way that closes the spirit from finding expression. Are you getting the prayer now? And so he said for that to happen you must pray that your kingdom. That means when you get born again as an Igbo lady. You don't come and negotiate with God and say Lord. Remember, I'm Igbo. I gave you my heart as Igbo. So, all through our walk, where Igbo clashes with the kingdom, you will shift for me. And let's continue moving. Are you getting my point now? The Katsina person says, look, Lord, the way we do our things, we are very, very diplomatic about it. Don't bring any kingdom thing. Now, what many believers want is that we take a culture, right? Come into the kingdom. When we come into the kingdom, we now begin to enforce our 
culture. Please, are you understanding what I'm saying? We now begin to enforce our culture. Now, not every aspect of culture is wrong. I hope you know that. But there are dangerous and devilish aspects of culture. And this culture was carved out by Babylon. This mystery that births and spews iniquity upon the face of the earth. So that when you keep practicing certain things, it permits the gates of hell to perpetually keep working in your life. Are you listening to me now? So, although you are born again, there are still ordinances that are holding you back. And because you are not ready to subscribe, you are a believer, but you are not ready to bend and subscribe to a higher kingdom. Are you getting my point now? But when you come into Christ, you die. And let me tell you the revelation of that death. To die means you cease to honor everything you honored before him. That's the way of the cross. Are you getting my point now? And when you come out from the other end, you are naked. The Holy Ghost is supposed to now begin to introduce you to a new culture supervised by the king himself not the traditional ruler in your village that's why he himself is called the king many people know the savior but they have not met the king and let me tell you you will never walk as an ambassador in the kingdom until you encounter the king because ambassadors are the envoys that represent the ideologies of the king please are you getting what i'm saying so i come in with my culture I even become a pastor with this culture. And we carry all kinds of ideologies as we study scripture. Culture and the principles we have practiced now become the lens from which we judge and interpret scripture. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it corrupts the authenticity of what the spirit is about to do. That is the reason why when in Egypt, when they came out of Egypt, that's, I told you, power is not enough to change people. They saw miracles. But the moment the going got tough, they said, remember that calf that Pharaoh used to build now that helped them during one war? Aaron, come and help us. Let's help ourselves here. This, maybe Moses is dead somewhere. God has killed him. You see that? Because they came out and they still brought Egypt with them. So when the going went tough, what happened? They negotiated with Egypt. It was not an Egyptian that built that calf, brothers and sisters. The same people, God's own Israel. This is how many of us are. We come out of the kingdom, but we have not left these things. This revelation, thy kingdom come, has not found expression in our lives. But when you come into the school of the spirit, the Lord now says there is neither male nor female. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. What is the revelation of that? He's introducing you to a new kingdom that is not dependent on your gender. A new kingdom that is not dependent on your prior ideology. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the mysteries of eternal life? It's a little here, a little dear, and soon your day will dawn. It's changing everything in obedience to Christ. When Jesus was walking, the Bible talks about a centurion, a captain in the army. He came to Jesus and he said, my son is about to die. And Jesus said, all right, I will come to him. He said, uh-uh, I know I'm a Jew. And I said, I, I mean, a Roman soldier, sorry. And according to the custom of the Romans, when, when, when they call you, you must come physically present. And he said, but I am a man under authority. Jesus had him speaking kingdom language. 
And Jesus said, I'm interested. Talk, I'm listening. He said, as a result of being under authority, I can tell one, go, without coming physically, and he will go. And tell another, come, and Jesus said, yeah, I have not found this revelation. You, a Roman soldier, who taught you this? He said, then go, if you believe this. Brothers and sisters, your degree of relinquishing the hold of your own principles and adopting that of the kingdom is the degree to which you will conform to the true image of the Christ here and now. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. I told you we are one in Christ. Revelation and alignment has separated us into different cadres. One star different from another in glory. So what is possible for brother A may not be possible for brother B. Same grace, same faith, same Lord, same baptism, different responses to that which the Spirit has given. That's why he gave unto one five talent, he gave unto one two. If he gave five and five, then we will know that it's a system that does not depend on our personal contribution. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people who teach that we all got the same thing. No, sir. The Bible tells me he gave five. He gave two. Not according to his desire to bless them. According to their stewardship that they have proven in time past. Hallelujah. So, a time comes when Taiwo's tradition and principles limit the Holy Spirit. God takes us so far. And when it's time to climb higher... That which she must lay down becomes too much. Can God use me? I'm a lady. All I want to do is just marry. That revelation is limiting God like the chains held the hands of Samson. Those two hands represented the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. They were bound. And so nothing could happen. Because the foundation of the kingdom is built upon the apostles and the prophets. Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. But the Bible says when the spirit of God came. The first thing that happened was the chains melted. They became like flax. So that it could now release the apostolic and the prophetic. And he said give me the jawbone of an ass. That's all I need. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the king. He has taken all the glory. He has taken all the praise. He has taken all dominion. He has taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the king. For a very long time, when he called this patriarch called Abraham, he said, Abraham, come out of your father's house. There is something in your father's house that has the capacity to limit your prophetic destiny. I know it's your father's house, but come out of it. He said, out of all your kindred and go to a land, a, a city, a mountain, a place that I will show you. And if you obey me, I will make you blessed. In Genesis 12, it was not yet at work in his life. It was the prophecy of what would happen if he obeys. And the Bible says he left. And Lot... You see that? He was told to go alone. When he looked at Lot, he said, Lot, I've been with you or you come. Amazing how we carry many things in the name of pity and they are the things that open the door for darkness at the apex of our breakthrough. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. A time came, God said, told Abraham, look, let Lot go. What are you willing to let go for the excellency of this new culture? Listen, the Bible says, ask for the ancient part. In the kingdom, there is no invention. Your creativity is useless in the kingdom. You are not left to create anything at all. 
are you getting what i'm saying as far as working with god is concerned your expertise and your creativity is taking advantage of his spirit to enforce the kingdom here but as far as your work with god is concerned your personal initiative is not necessary the bible says, ask for the ancient path it didn't say create a road and tie it ask for it there's already a road ask for it and walk and you will find rest for your soul in other words, refuse to ask for it and keep struggling. Following roads and come and find yourself in the same spot again. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? So God desires that regardless, see, this sister can never relate with Benga truly and sincerely if both of them do not adopt a higher kingdom that is greater than the, are you getting my point a time will come when their personal ideologies will clash why am i entering next week already i don't want to steal into the mystery of marriage and you will know why without the adoption of the culture of the kingdom there's no such thing as family peace union between man and a woman i love you i love you junk if you do not adopt this kingdom you will some people's head clash every day because their cultures are east and west what they say don't do in this culture is exactly what you need to do to be a good citizen when i talk of culture i don't just mean tradition i mean your way of life hallelujah are you getting my point now when i submit to the culture of the kingdom if this is my wife and i want to stand here and she wants to stand here we both of us look and say look we are fighting here where does the king want and the king said, two of you go back. We submit our personal wills to adopt that of the kingdom. This is the only basis where brothers can dwell together in unity. Are you getting my point now? Many of us are holding strong to devilish ideologies. Let me give you one. For instance, secular music and godly music. I'm hitting somebody now. Yes, I will say it again. Delete that junk from your phone. Don't let anybody let you know that Christians are... You know, we have this ugly mindset about Christians that they are old school. They are the ones left behind. Just allow your foolishness to keep deceiving you. In the future, you will see how far we have gone. Hallelujah. A lot of people listen to all kinds of things. And we laugh and we are happy. Not knowing that music carries a spirit. Every song carries a spirit that writes upon your heart. Huh? When it writes upon your heart, it's like a spiritual slate. You begin to feed off that writing. That was the revelation that the devil was bringing to Jesus. Turn this stone into bread. There was something that was written on stone when Moses was on the mountain. He said, turn it to become bread. In other words, let that be your basis of living. And he said, no, man shall not live by this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many things that are militating us. So when we talk about this transformation, this transformation, you must align yourself. Ah, I refuse to talk about marriage this night. Please, I want peace. Is, is till next week. Come next week prepared. Somebody can be married for 50 years and be married wrongly, working with an ideology. He can write a wrong book. And I was, I was sharing with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. We're just having some time together. Someone can be married for 50, 60 years. That's why when you see an elder who loves God and fears God and has a great home, listen to him. Because he has two advantages, experience and the spirit of God. There are many people writing all kinds of books about marriage. Their personal experience has become the template for them to initiate other people. So they say certain things are not possible based on the limitations they faced. Not knowing that if they only aligned some more to the kingdom, some things would have become possible. Hallelujah. Say, I submit to the government of heaven. So, Ibo, how far are you willing to go with God? As far as submitting yourself to pick up the ideologies of the king is concerned. 
I don't just mean your culture in terms of village, the way you are behaving. It's generally believed that Igbo people like money and they can do everything for it. Don't laugh. That's a culture. When you come to the kingdom, what says the spirit to the church? What is the new ideology? Are you going to join that band of fruitless hustlers? I must make it. My share of the national cake. Although you are a Christian, you are born again, but it's limiting you. So you cannot honor the law of process. You cannot walk with the spirit accordingly. Hallelujah. Kogi people. Middle belters, all right, or northerners. There are strong ideologies that we have held as a territory. Are we willing to let some of these things go? When you are angry and you tell somebody you will see, you now run and there's somebody stationed to deal with you and bring everything to justice. But the Bible says vengeance is mine. So you now have two kingdoms. Choose ye this day. I set before you. Hallelujah. It's believed that Yoruba people love education so much and they can press for it. Need to have a degree, do this, go abroad, come back, do this and that. But to what degree are you willing to yield to the spirit so that you become a true spiritual man, not limited by intellect alone? Knowing that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Lord that showeth mercy said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but he gives unto his beloved sleep are you hearing what i'm saying who is this one um the northern and hausa man what are you willing to lay down it's generally believed that northerners are not serious with their wives. They are less as fair and careless. The man's job is just to give birth and then allow the woman go to farm and suffer and do that. Don't just forget. We're going to talk about that one next week. Praise God. See, ah, you see, the thing about marriage is that marriage is the greatest example between our relationship and Christ and this enforcing the kingdom. That's why I keep jumping there. If Benga, ah, uh -uh, come, my brother. If this guy is going to marry um, Taiwo, brothers and sisters, except another kingdom superimposes them, there is war. Everybody shout war. war. War that will not end. You know that Anglican statement, war without end. Because there will be clash of values. Many of us go to God in prayer and we approach God with certain mindsets that are limiting God. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God? When you share a word like in the name of Jesus, the hand of God will come upon your exams. Your mindset suddenly says, forget. If you read, you read. If you don't read, you will fail. Your mindset has become a limiting factor. You had the testimony of the, of the person who just checked the jam. I know many of you think it's a lie. If you are giving your way now, you say, let's verify this thing. Even that genotype thing, I'm not very sure. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. That's what you are saying. Say, forget Jare. Which doctor? Let's check. Let's go back. I must be there. Thomas was there. And he did the same thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You see that all the disciples that Jesus walked with represented different ideologies. Peter was so impulsive. He was an extrovert. One moment, don't wash my feet. The other moment, bath me. Thomas, you know, all kinds of people. But all of them came into an alignment. Are you getting my point? Such that it didn't matter who entered any city. The Holy Ghost was comfortable to do the same thing. This is kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Say it upon your life. The kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. 
When the kingdom comes upon your finances, you stop running finances like shit and run. This nonsense people do around. You go to Abuja and see people running. Everybody is running. I, I was watching, I think it was NTA this afternoon, and they were showing a good luck Jonathan. I think they went for something campaign in Equity State. Or this, and I saw all the people dancing on the road. I said, but do these people really love this country? Or is it that the hunger is too much? They are muzzling the last ounce of energy to just dance it so that when the money comes, they can negotiate after the, the, the conference. Has the kingdom come over your finances or you are still running it the way you know? Go to school, get a job, hope to get a very great job. Wonderful. But have you, have you had the opinion of the king? Do you know there is an economic system in this kingdom that was there before you were born? Have you been interested in subscribing to it? The Bible said, taste and see that the Lord, it didn't say wish and complain. Be serious. How do you taste food? You go and sit down in the restaurant. You sit down for as long as the food is being prepared. While he's preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies, you must sit down. And then you will taste and testify. And say, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled, even that of the word of life, that's what we preach. Has the kingdom come upon your soul to change your character? Brothers and sisters, this is very important. There are many Christians without character. You can walk out immediately after the grace and give one sister a dirty slap because you are entering bus. You see, forget the fact that I sat down in front. Oh, you try me, I wound you. I'm not one of these guys that like looking for women. Don't think I like you. Look at this. This guy just spent three hours rolling on the floor and worshiping now he wants to give a lady a slap the next time somebody does like that tell him thy kingdom <laughs> hallelujah when somebody carries his mouth and you are lambasting somebody a brother just comes and says i like your shoe no 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 no. i'm not this kind of people let me tell you something i'm not this kind of boy just say brother just say thy kingdom you need the influence of the kingdom. Have you allowed the kingdom to come upon your academics? Do you not know that the spirit of God came upon a man called Daniel? And changed him, literally. He learned the art and the language of the Babylonians. And the Bible says he was distinguished. But every time they are talking, say me, I had one P, four C, I added Neko. It even allowed me and gave me two years to make it up. And you take that mindset. Have you allowed the kingdom to come? Please, is my message making sense tonight? In your body, you will keep dying of terminal disease until you allow the kingdom to come. So you are healed one moment from miracle service, but you now go back. And this happens again. No, come, no, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, no, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. God is coming to you tonight and saying, How long are you willing? To keep remaining at this level. You have a ministry. God wants to take you to a high level. But your limitation. There is a message you had. That has refused to allow the kingdom come. And you keep wondering. Why is this thing not working? And then out of frustration. You just say anybody that is doing it is fake. Forget it. All these people. 
Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. When he comes to you, he walks upon your mind. When it comes to you, he changes your ideology. Don't tell me I'm from Edo State. Don't tell me I'm from Plateau State. Don't tell me I'm from Lagos. Are you willing to subscribe to the governing influence of the king? Three ways you enforce the kingdom. Very quickly, please sit down. Number one. Look at me. To enforce the kingdom, you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles that govern the operation of God's system. But it so happens that these mysteries are so many. Our lifetime will not be able to... Follow me, please. I'm trying to construct the first, um, the first way of enforcing the kingdom. The mysteries that govern the operation of the kingdom. Remember, I showed you the creation before Genesis 1. Remember when we're talking about what? Laws of dominion or something. I told you there was a creation before Genesis 1. Is that true? And I showed you, isn't it? How that the foundations of the earth was created. That creation story was even more comprehensive than Genesis 1. That was when the foundations of the earth was laid upon pillars. Right? And I told you the sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there. When the sons of God sang for joy. Are you getting my point now? So there are mysteries. The earth is not round. It's not suspended in the space. That's what science told us. But the Bible says it has pillars. The pillars extend to the sea. The Bible says God put doors at the borders of every river. That means every time we see flooding, a spirit manipulated a spiritual law because there are doors. Emmanuel. See, this is what you know that you won't be deceived. When people just say, water just came and washed the house, you say, uh-uh, come on now. I read in my Bible, there are doors. He put boundaries. But by the manipulation of spiritual laws, you can extend their boundaries. I told you, a man can be accurate but not be of God. Spiritual laws are ne not necessarily heavenly laws. In the kingdom, laws can be initiated by any spirit, any demon spirit human spirit that's why a herbalist can concoct something for you and it will work because he's manipulating the laws of the spirit but for kingdom citizens that law must be initiated sustained by the spirit of the christ that's what makes it of god are you getting what i'm saying you can go to somebody by the riverside right now the person will buff out all your problems and truly you'll find out that your problems left because he manipulated a law. But it so happens that if the spirit of God is not the one who initiated the process, there will still be a window left. Only the spirit of God knows the mystery to the final door of evil. Every other person will leave a signature that shows. So you can look at somebody's visitation of a man of God or of somebody and know that it's not God this person met. There was still a window. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Oh, I wish I had time. This gives you spiritual intelligence. I remember um, where I did my secondary school, they, had, they, they understood the art and science of holy rain. It will never rain on their market day. That was the source of their livelihood. They had enchanters who could look and know which law can keep the cloud suspended. And then in the night around two, no wind, no nothing. A heavy rain will now come. What's the compensation? There is something, of course. Remember the law of exchange. There is always a compensation. Don't let anybody fool you. You don't get nothing for nothing in the kingdom. That thing is not true. If you got it free, somebody paid for it. There is always an exchange. Always. So the next time you hear that there is flooding around, don't join ignorant people to just say, wow, the climate is changing. No. No. 
these spirits are invoking a spiritual formula that extends the borders of the rivers. But when the kingdom citizens show up, like Joshua, we have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom and we can look at the rod of Pharaoh and drop the rod of God and it will swallow it right in their presence and not increase weight. And we tell the sorcerers, explain the mystery of swallowing two snakes and not increasing in size. Where did they go to? You answer mysteries with mysteries. See, let me tell you, in the days that will come, it will be a clash of mantles. Men will talk very little. Something else will be speaking. That which God trained them with is what they will use. Hmm. That's what can make people hire you and keep you in a walk. They just say you are... You are part of the board of advisors. You are not doing anything. Your presence is forcing mysteries to work in the favor of that company. And they say, oh God, you are part of the board of directors. For what? Oh, they will need us. Goodness, we are a city set on a hill. Trust me. Trust me. Bishop used to work with a man. I won't mention his name because people are listening. Bishop Stan used to work with a man. As graduates, he paid them 50000 but he paid the men of God that came to work with him 1.2. You know why? Because they have mastered the art and science of manipulating spiritual laws. Sorcerers and diviners in Bible days were not elected. They were the closest people to the king because if they leave him, he would die. They leave all the farmers and intelligent people to be killing themselves outside. And those who understand the art and science of controlling this realm. Hmm. And Job said, has thou commanded thy morning? How do you command your morning? Brothers and sisters, when you know what you can know, it will... Aye. Grant us grace. This is what the patriarchs knew that made them sons of God. Twelve men in the Old Testament. It has always been twelve. It's the system of God's government. Twelve men who manifested bodily the summation of mysteries that made them afraid. And Elijah the Tishbite showed up from wherever nobody knows. And how he got to the mountain, the Bible doesn't tell us. You think that man will just keep climbing the mountain like that? We just know he sat down at the top of the mountain. And the armies came with their spears. He said, really? They've trained you in the art of war. Those guys were so excellent. They could, they could, diverge, they could diverge arrows with slings. They were so accurate. But Elijah said, I don't have time for this business. Let fire come from heaven the disciples saw jesus do a lot of mystery that's why one day they said jesus let's come out fire jesus didn't say you cannot do it he said do you not know what spirit you are of in other words i'm showing you other mysteries you see what jesus kept teaching them he didn't finish the lecture that's why after resurrection he kept them for 50 days 40 days and he was teaching them the matters of the kingdom after that he said goodbye i can leave you now goodness and we, one man called Bad Jesus meandered. Have you heard the story? Bad what? Bad Jesus. Paul said, ah! In Acts chapter 16, I think it was 16 or 19, when they saw a lady with the spirit of divination bringing a lot of money to all their people by giving people word of knowledge. So you see that it worked, right? For whatever reason, a spirit entered that lady and trained her in the art of interpreting spiritual things. When Paul looked, Paul could not see, but he used another mystery that opened his eyes. And he said, uh-uh, this is not of God. May God make strong men out of us. Not just by impartation, but by knowledge. You will walk everywhere and read the handwritings on the wall. That what men are not seeing, you will see. You will enter your house and somebody will say, I have stomach ache. And you say, no, I need to fast. This is not about stomach ache. I have connected the dots. This is the that of evil. And you come out after 24 hours and say it's well. Ah, ah. Somebody just says, I have another stomach. If you say it's well, I know what I saw. Three days later, the family opens up to unspeakable breakthrough. You think they want you to come back home? 
there are some of you they don't want you to come back home because you are you are adding to the the mysteries you are not solving it why is it that when you come back home things finish unusually Whereas the prophet showed up and said, surely the, the oil will not finish. This and that will not finish. We are going to pray shortly. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is on the strength of the mysteries of the kingdom that you understand. He said it has been given unto you to know. See, when Adam was created, some things were told Adam that Eve did not know. That's why God held Adam responsible. Before Eve showed up, some informations were given Adam. For instance, part of the things that were taught, I believe with all my heart, was God gave him a story of the creation. God told him a lot of things. He knew that water was responsible for abundance. I hope you know. We've shared it here, right? That the things that came out, they came out from the water. The Bible tells us the birds of the air, the fish, they all came out from the water. This is another mystery. That's why the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the word, and what? No, it can't be water in heaven. But it said in the earth realm, there are three that bear witness. So the spirit bears witness both in heaven and in the earth. The common factor, both in heaven and in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And I told you this represents three dispensations of the manifestation of the church, right? Right? The, the dispensation of the spirit was a charismatic age from the Azusa street and all of that. So people laid emphasis on the manifestation and the workings of the spirit. And then the word of faith started coming. That's the dimension of the water. They started teaching people accurately the things of the word. And before Christ comes the manifestation of the blood. Not as a teaching, as a lifestyle. Because the blood represents the very life of God. That's what will open the gates. So gates that were shut will be opened because of certain mysteries. Brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God seeks to find expression in your life. But because there are so many mysteries for us to learn, we can only touch so much. Listen to me. There are so many. It will take us a lifetime. So the Holy Spirit identified it as a predicament in us. And he said, there is another mystery that will help you connect to principles that you do not know, but they will work for you. And then the Bible starts saying, for we know not how to pray. He said, this is the limitation. Are you hearing me now? Follow me, please. He said, no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. So no man knows the heart of God save the spirit of God. And then he begins to communicate a limitation that every believer, no matter how strong, we have that limitation. What's the limitation? We know not what to pray for as we ought to. That means we don't know how to use the correct spiritual laws to the accuracy that will give us all the results that we need. But there was a technology that was kept to help our inadequacy. He said, but the spirit itself make it what? This is a mystery. Make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you begin to pray, this mystery was not taught Satan. This is what confuses demons. I hope you know Satan, Lucifer, I told us already, Lucifer was what? Light bearer. He was the custodian of the revelations. He thought he saw everything about God. He did not know that there were other mysteries that were hidden. So he deceived the one third of the angels. He said, guys, just follow me. I can tell you, I have every knowledge of God in my hands. I can even be God right now and it will not change the system of heaven. And God said, really, there was war in heaven. God didn't even stand up from his throne. It was Michael. Michael fought him. So when he came down, he came down, he became lower than the cherubs and all of that. Then, that's why he looked for Adam. I told you the first person who was in the Garden of Eden was who? Lucifer, not Adam. Lucifer was the first person in the Garden of Eden. He was driven out. That's why when Adam came, it got him angry. You see what Satan has with men. So when he collected the Adamic authority, at that point, he became greater than all the angels, second to only the Trinity. 
That was why when Archangel Michael came and they were fighting over the body of Moses, are you, are you seeing it now? Because at that point he was higher than him, he could not use that strength again. So he invoked a higher power. The Lord rebuke you. Hold on. Are you, are you getting my point now? Mm. When Jesus was born, because Satan was working with Adamic authority, even Jesus ran away for his life. Otherwise, Satan would have killed him. When Satan took Jesus to the mountain, Jesus did not say, Satan, go away. No, he followed him. And Satan said, all these glories. What mountain did they climb that they saw the glories of the world all at once? Is that not a mystery? Where do you stand in the earth that you see all the glories? But he showed him at once. He said, it has been given to me. Ah, yeah. And so he said, let me give you the shortcut. Why go and die and do all of this nonsense? Because he knew that there is coming another law. He had seen water. It was the water that parted the Red Sea and brought separation between Egypt and Israel. It was the adumbration of baptism. But he saw an adumbration of the blood of the lamb in Egypt. And because he knows that prophetic things must have a physical explanation, he started following anything that looks like blood. So he said, Jesus, this one that you have come now, why just bow down to me and collect this thing? Jesus said, no problem. I will collect it anyway. So when he met with it in hell, he said, I've come to collect it now. See, see, Jesus defeated Satan without the help of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had left him. He was in hell. Are you getting me? That was why after the third day, the same spirit that raised him back. That means he came back on the third day, raised by the spirit of God. And when Satan, Jesus collected the keys, stripped Satan of it. That's why in Revelation he said, I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He's got it back. That's what he gave us in redemption. Seven blessings. What is the lamb who was slain to receive? He has received unto us blessings, riches, those seven things. He gave it to us. He said, as my father has sent me, I send you with it. But he said, hold on. Don't just run foolishly. The Holy Ghost. There are many things I want to tell you, but you cannot bear them now. They will be needed for you to be effective. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you. He will teach you the other part of the lessons. Thy kingdom come. So when you begin to pray, that's the first way of enforcing the kingdom. As I begin to pray in the spirit, there are all kinds of codes and mysteries being manipulated in the spirit for my favor. So you can pray. Listen, I shared a revelation with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. When you pray, I hope you know you are sowing seeds. Is that true? And the Bible says, to every seed, God can change the body and give it another body. So I can be praying and all of a sudden it will manifest in my finances. God has given it another body. I can pray in tongues and it will manifest in my health. Are you getting me? God can give seeds another body. Are you seeing why it's important to pray in the spirit? For we have a limitation. We know not what we should pray for. Brothers and sisters, hear me here. If you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, you need to have a meeting with the prayer band people. Hallelujah. Fluent tongues is your lifeline out of this nonsense, this assault of the devil. They will manipulate your life with spiritual principles. I know a lot of people have thought that everything is okay once you are born again. Wait on. See, the laws of the spirit are not the laws of the Old Testament. They predate creation. Hallelujah. It was that same law that brought water for Hagar in the desert. She looked around and there was no water. And when the angel appeared, he opened her eyes. And there was water flowing. That means what you do not see does not mean it's not there. Something can happen in the spirit and make it manifest. There was water. 
She could not drink because she could not see it. What did the angel do to her eyes? The same thing Elisha did to his servant. Hallelujah. Prayer. Number two. You enforce the kingdom. You enforce the kingdom in the place of deep worship. Very few people understand worship. Please, if you are here and you've not cultivated the life of worship, you can meet the worship team members after the service and say, how do I cultivate a life of worship? Not an event of, cult of worship that you hold might. A life of worship. Just like we did. That's why when we came, the Holy Ghost allowed us to bask in that presence. When that thing happens, the presence of God can enforce the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. One more. You enforce the kingdom by the ministry of the word. Both studying it and speaking it. Not just blind religious speaking. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That kind of speaking that doesn't carry any weight. But that you say, I am blessed. Out of a depth of conviction, you enforce the kingdom. Son of man, what seest thou? Ezekiel 37. Or Ezekiel 37. Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. He said, enforce it. I prophesied as I was commanded. And the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Wish so. That means let the healed of the Lord say what? Let the prosperous of the Lord do what? So you say so. Comes from the word homologio. Repeat after the person you just had. And so you speak. My life is blessed. I'm a man of character. I'm a woman of character. You are enforcing the kingdom. I have no business with sickness. Hallelujah. My path is as a shining light. Even when you see things that contradict your faith, you know that there is a reality higher than what you have seen. And you enforce it. With your words if you can accept before god and say lord i've tried everything i know to do i know that this thing is not as hard as it is but i submit myself to your wisdom you have changed the lives of people within 24 hours you have brought restoration and healing and hope for people brothers and sisters that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say, well, nice preaching. Your problem only affects you. I hope you know. But you can tremble at his word and say, this is the key. One prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help. When a man comes to the end of his life, I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. When you come to that point and you say, Lord, you spoke to me that I'm going to be a kingdom financier. I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David! I'm sure people say, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step is surrender. You must receive his help because you can reject it. You can reject the help of God. 
before we begin to pray papa adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money and then one time during a program papa deboy looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the holy spirit and he was going to pray for him and he, he was led to ask him do you want to be well man said no he looked at him ah be well why should i stand up when my life has changed on this chain and truly the man told him all i want money i don't want to be well i think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry that's according to papa deboy he said the guy was angry because he said now i'll have to work for myself no excuse again take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. Mention the areas you need His help. If you don't need any help, pray for Koinonia. Pray for the ministry. Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. I 
Alleluia. Alleluia. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life. Lord, I must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 In recent time, I have seen tremendous increase 
of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord i, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power lord i know that you will do amazing things even in this place we trust you for a quick walk there are lives there are destinies that need to be changed lord there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers so in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer requests if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. For you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire. He will yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be picking. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria, Victoria, I hear a name Victoria, this is Victoria, let me just respond to this. Victoria, Victoria, 
there is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in a dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be keep stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability Father, you will give him stability in the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. Come. Um, I have to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord, she must be free today. Today is her day of liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this spirit. You must leave her. I see you in the spirit. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, do you love Jesus? Very well. Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. What's his name? Joseph, huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying, but as the days unfold, you will see God honor you. Father, let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. 
supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. Is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences you see sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there are people who are tied to covenants i hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where are they right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of jesus i bring deliverance help that lady 
I bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals I'm hearing stagnation that's what I'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside Lord wherever those people are get set right now as I speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please Embra katata, rakatoshkopa, repetekete. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every force that has tied down my life, you must leave me right now. Pray. As some of you are praying, the power of God will be touching you every spirit that is responsible make sure you are praying hallelujah please lift your hands only the ladies i want to pray for you only the ladies a woman represents a gate in the spirit and there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed but the bible says to open up the two leaf gates it will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now please keep your hands lifted father i pray in a mighty way let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout jesus let those gates be open get set now ladies one two three open now open now open now my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please
by the power of the Holy Spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who came with this woman I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, it's getting who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now God is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She'll stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? 
Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Who's, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This twenty day, my blood they move like this. As friend. I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, sir. That mm -hmm. devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You. What's your name? Faith. Faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness, I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to live. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If you know you are involved in anything, whether maybe you have a shop, you are in business, and nothing is working, just lift your hands. I want to pray for those people right now. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long. Unless I lie down, I can't stand for long. Okay, mama, just clear the way. Let mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. Well, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she? My problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on um, today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I don't be sleep. I don't be eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no. Our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we start with some of our elderly ones. So that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song and I will praise him I will sing to him
to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. Every force, Kabbalah, Tabbalah. Keep your hands lifted. That has tied down your business. All the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand. Literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names. I pray. As that fire comes on your hand. Ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas. This fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father peace who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you the other source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put a camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already 
This is an obituary. Who is her mother? This is her mother crying. Who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on a What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not they have not able to be no diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't. Can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We, we will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. Cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight. Took her. And, uh, the What's that? Uh -huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, no, no. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Kinzo Kina. Can I also say? Can I not hear? 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 You would think this girl is, is 10 years, she's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my god. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me as well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while 
she gets some strength and you try to lift her up and see what happens father i pray for everyone here let the power of god touch them in the name of jesus christ everyone came please be patient you don't have to rush the lord himself will touch you you came for a reason in the name of jesus christ you don't have to tell me what is wrong with you if i ask you you can tell me but it doesn't matter the spirit of death is on this woman but mama look at me oh, please. what's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, in the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food here. Yeah. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They can't even go home. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They can't even go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. Call, they carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say oh. hospital no fit you. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Eh. Uh, okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down. Any man. I don't care who. Who tells you to bring money to get a miracle even if it's me run away are you hearing what i'm saying mama our mothers i'm begging you in the name of jesus christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him joshua selman said he's a thief he's not a man of god are we together and now we start the cure the thing the if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, tell her that four months, go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know even see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And I'll start the bed with my no grief. That mommy and my girl live for some yeah. room before. We mommy, for some what, what? Now I can't serve, I can't serve my room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But uh, they hear prayer for you. When they say, Make I come, make go. I know they I, I know they come. I'll just lie down, they feel pain every Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia on your way going? They just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. What 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 exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say where the grass and at this church he says, Oh, make a go, make go in offer. Where come the usher people? Say where they go, they go to my church. I know few worker. These people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God bless our feet. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come they address me, say, make no hurry to enter. So, and now where they start they play, I entered through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my, now this hand, they just stand, because all this side, you know. And now suddenly stand up. Uh, stand. God, you can't give me, I can't the strength. strength my power. What, power. what part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go so. Oh, your, the leg. oh, I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. K. 
came on a bike could not walk come slowly just take it slowly look at this you can see that it's happening gradually gradually these hands were paralyzed madam look at me try to lift it up go ahead go ahead lift it lift it lift it look at this lift it lift it drop it down lift it again lift it again completely paralyzed completely paralyzed look at look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening do what you couldn't do the devil is a liar the more you take that step of faith the more you see God stepping in father this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you just keep exercising her we we'll have to pray please any special case will minister at our time is gone I saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ the moment I pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what leaks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby 
and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus. You will have a child. Make sure you are praying. One month, two weeks, a hole in his heart. If God does not step in, this baby will either die or something will happen. I tell you, we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can agree. Father, we reject this. We reject this. As you are rejecting it for this child, so it will be in your life. Reject it. Lord, your church is praying. We change this report. Baby, we speak to you. Baby, you will not die. You will not die. You will not die. We close this hole. Hallelujah. Go and check him. Don't cry. Don't cry. Eh? You are not going to lose your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray. It's going to be very, very fast. As I lay my hands on you, just, it's just a touch. There is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. The Lord is wiping your tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. And not just because you are crying physically. This woman is coming with so much pains. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of her, that demon that causes pain. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Submit the prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We're wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write these requests to Joshua Selman, I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. 
Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that this is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have, okay, it's props water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they will give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it since that's the only thing. She Then I shall, not she? But I shall, she? Say me. Roa. Roa ka bata kada. Tozan ya dua ko. Se se a jana bata. Ache yenzu da sati da. Ana bata kada. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this. Thing, so I'm like, yeah, you see she's gaining some strength she couldn't move before but we see her gaining some strength uncle you don't can you see her gaining some strength she's even moving she's pushing her away same issue. something is happening to her look at this are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakwa Benezesha, for Amata Dua, there was a son Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. 
and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here let there be miracles oh god let there be miracles in the name of jesus every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if i tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the powerful name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job those hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that fail be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name 
everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying Lord Jesus I'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and you are saying Lord I want to surrender my life I've been living my life the way I want but I want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to Christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute I know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly God bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them God bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with Jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying I'm tired of playing games with God I want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus. i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you 
tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus now, I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they will have your details and they will welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we are finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the Lord now all those who are worshipping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye